So when I started this series last month, it was just a way for me to hold myself accountable so that I actually read the books that I want to read. However, I didn't fully realize that I was also committing myself to talk about the books here with you. In my head, I've been avoiding the word review. I don't want to feel like I'm reviewing books. I don't know why, it just feels a bit weird. <laughs> Obviously, there's nothing wrong with that, but my channel is a little bit different, I think. <laughs> and besides, who the hell am I to pretend that you should listen to what I have to say about books? So I think this series will be more of a journal in video form. A journal of what I'm reading and the things I find interesting in books and all of that. And yes, these videos might just end up being book reviews. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. So the book for January was The Big Picture, 11 Laws That Will Change Your Life by Tony Horton. Like I said in my previous video, Tony Horton is the fitness expert behind the P90X series. He has changed thousands of people's lives with his fitness programs. Personally, I really like 22 Minute Hardcore. Those are my go-to workouts. And this book is full of wisdom for living a healthy lifestyle and living a happy and fulfilling life in general. And beyond that, he explains to you why you should take care of yourself and why exercising and eating healthy is so important and how that affects everything in your life. And the book is more than just exercise and eating healthy. He also talks about the importance of sleep and rest and recovery. The recovery part is something that I have learned the hard way through years of working out. When you injure yourself and you don't give yourself time to recover, you just make things worse. And it doesn't apply only to exercise. He shows you how he applies all of the laws in inside and outside of the gym. When you work really hard on a project like a YouTube channel or a song or a business and you put a lot of time into it, it's easy to get burned out. And there's something really special about someone like Tony telling you how important it is to rest and take time for yourself to just chill. He's the kind of person that you always see moving and he has a lot of energy and you see him working out and he's always telling people to get off the couch. But in the book, he tells you that in order to do that, he needs to spend time on the couch relaxing as well. And giving myself free time is something that I struggle with. I don't wanna say that the book was disappointing because it wasn't, but it did get a little bit repetitive sometimes. Sometimes he gives you a piece of advice and then repeats that a few times in a different way and then he gives you a few different examples and then you're like, yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> but I think that the main problem is that I have been following this man's work for years. I have watched every single interview with him, every single public appearance that's on YouTube, his talks, I went through his YouTube channel, everything. And this book is like a compilation of all of that advice and stories he tells, many of which I have already heard. It's a very good reminder nonetheless, and the book has a lot more new information as well. And he does go more in depth when he tells the stories in the book, which was really nice. And it is so funny. If you follow this man, you know that he makes everything super funny. His workouts are half an hour of him cracking jokes while you're on the ground suffering. I don't think the cover of the book matches the tone of the writing. The cover makes it look like this is Tony getting serious when in reality we know that's not possible. The whole book was hilarious. Especially the F-16 story. Oh my god. The F-16 story is my favorite part by far. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyways, if you're looking for a book about living a healthy lifestyle and advice on living a fulfilling life in general, I think Tony has you covered. I would really recommend this book. And if you are a Tony Horton fan, definitely check it out. I did finish the book in less than a month, but I didn't finish it before the end of January. I hated seeing the thing on Goodreads that said you're one book behind schedule. Anyways, I'll try to catch up. Catch up. Catch up. And the book for February is The Creative Habit, Learn It and Use It for Life by this person. <laughs> Twila Tharp. I'm so sorry. If you read the same book that I did in January, or if you chose to join the challenge and read something else, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. And that's it for now. If you liked this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh no.